Hello, I'm Robert Grant and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to go outside and take a look at landscape photography and how to improve your landscape photos. So let's get started. So jumping right in here, I did this image of this jetty out over the water with the beach in the background. It's okay, the focus is the jetty, but let's try doing something else. Here I backed the camera up a little bit so I got some green in the foreground and the trees hanging over the top just creates a much more dimensional shot. It's a lot more interesting. Let's look at that again. So here you see them side by side and obviously the one on the right is so much better. You have a foreground interest, a middle interest, and a distance interest. A great uh, and much more color. Just a better image. Now here I spotted this rainbow and I just took a quick shot of it before it disappeared. But it's a little far away, but with just doing some creative cropping, I made it a more powerful image as you see here. I moved in on it a little bit, uh, made the rainbow bigger and spanned the whole horizon. I kept that dramatic sky, it's just a nicer image. And here's a view of the Piton Mountains. Uh, this image works because it has the foreground, green hills in the foreground, and the Pitons are far back, uh, in the sort of in the haze. Remember that the bad weather sometimes is not bad photography. Uh, it's made, it gives you more drama. Another good effect is uh, if you can get high up over something, it gives you a nice dramatic uh, angle on things, as, as we see here. And again, yeah, you have a foreground object with the trees in the front, the middle ground, which is basically the, uh, the shoreline over there, and then you have the sky. So you have this nice balance of shape. So then here what I did is I kept the little village running out of the frame so you have a stripe across the middle, you know, and then again your foreground and background, your foreground water, little reflection in the water which is nice, very green behind the, the, the town and then a mountain in the, in the background. Again a nice good composition for landscape photography. Sometimes it's just nice to find interesting textures in, in, the, in buildings around. And so here I did this sort of rooftop shot with this really wonderful white structure in the foreground and the two roofs behind it. And you have the green surrounding everything and the, the ocean beyond. It's just a really nice landscape of buildings. Here I just love the little scattering of the houses up the hillside. All these little shapes and different colors against each other with the green background. Just a really nice composition, a uh, great landscape shot, and a little foreground interest with the leaves in the foreground on the, on the top and on the left at a, at a sense of dimension. Finally, here we have just a landscape shot of clouds, just really wonderful light and dimension and uh, you know you have the foreground again and the distance and that's what really makes a good landscape shot. Well, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on improving your landscape photography. So get out there and try to get some nice landscapes and post them here on the website. We'd love to see them. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.